we literally just got a dragon scale, guys. I know, it's like that weird bag of bog. Brand new Pokemon Go video. Today we're actually starting with an egg opening, which I didn't. Oh, it's okay. It's it's a Paris. It's nothing. I didn't actually expect that to happen. As I was setting up, this egg just popped. So what a way to start a video. Sadly, it was only a Paris. If that was something crazy, that would have been actually really really cool. But welcome everybody to Bali, Indonesia. I'm currently here on holiday with my brother. I was meant to be with Holly, but she being pregnant couldn't have the jabs, etc., etc., etc. Oh, we got a Weedle. Uh, and what we're gonna do today is we're gonna see what Pokemon are available here in Bali. Now I'm gonna tell you we've been here two days and I've done a little bit of Pokemon hunting and it is absolutely crazy it is possibly one of the best places to Pokemon hunt except it is so so hot it's currently 35 degrees uh, like 9 a.m. in the morning it is so muggy as well it's so wet and it's really hard to kind of walk around but it is so much fun and I only learned out today that there is actually a regional exclusive right here uh, in Bali it's called Corsola it's the kind of I don't know how to describe it. It kind of looks like a shell kind of thing. I honestly thought Farfetch might be here because this is obviously Asia or Indonesia, Asia. Um, and I thought Farfetch might be here, but it's not here. But we have got a Pokemon that we can go out and hunt today that is a regional exclusive. So I'm so, so excited about that. But before we get into it, guys, I have got so many amazing things to do right now and some of the biggest evolutions probably you can do in the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bang on a lucky egg and let's get into this. So first up, Seedra. That is right. You remember in the last episode, like last week, I was trying to get as many horses as I can to get my Seedra leveled up. I've done it. I have got enough. I've also got my Dragon Scale. So let's do it. We're going to evolve it up. Use my item. Oh my god, it's so good. This is going to get our Seedra up into a Kingdra. And I've not seen one of these. I don't think I've seen one of them before. I don't even think I've seen one in a gym. So this is really exciting. And of course, we've got our double XP. Now, tomorrow is my seven day streak. And in the look, it's so cool. It actually looks like a. Oh, I got mozzies biting me. It looks really pretty, actually. Because it's obviously like the female version. It looks really, really pretty. Oh, it's not powerful at all, which is really surprising. But look at that. That is that is stunning. Actually, it's a male, but it looks like a it looks like a female version of Cedra. That's really strange. Uh, but yeah, tonight is actually my uh, seven day streak. In the update, they now give you one item for your seven day streak. And I'm hoping for a King's Rock because I've got enough candies to get my Poliwhirl up um, and evolve him, which would be really, really cool. But we need to see if we can get a King's Rock tonight. And that will be either in today's video or the next video, depending how late I stay up uh, today. We've also got Fan P. Uh, really, really rare here, and we can evolve up our fan P. Again, I haven't seen one of these evolved yet, and I, I was so excited. I was like, shall I evolve them all now, or shall I wait? And I was like, you know what? I need to wait until I've got loads so I can do a video of you guys evolving them all up. I'm sorry if I'm like sweating profusely. Profusely. <gasps> that is so sick. I literally haven't seen one of these before. No, that looks so. Apparently, uh, maybe I have. I don't know. Maybe I passed one in a gym. Don Van. 2,265 with a little bit to go. So not crazy good. This is actually an extra large version as well. That's pretty neat though. That is pretty, pretty neat. Uh, okay, so what else we got here? So we've got a War Turtle, which I can evolve up into a Blastoise. Again, this isn't a new evolution, but I thought just seeing a War Turtle evolve to a Blastoise is something that brings back the past. Uh, it was such a big thing at the start of this game to get this leveled up is crazy. There's also another, uh, there's another regional exclusive called, I think it's Heracross's regional exclusive. Exclusive? Exclusive to like um, South America, I think it is. Boom, another Blastoise. Again, not that powerful, but still a cool uh, cool Blastoise. Uh, I've also got this out here, Yanma. Haven't had one of these in the UK, and I think, well, at least I don't think I have. Oh, I did get this one in the UK. Okay, maybe I've just seen loads of these here in um, uh, in America, in Bali. These are like everywhere, which makes sense because there are so many mozzies. I've been bitten so many times. Actually, funny enough, not on my arms. Oh yeah, there's one there on my arm, uh, but uh, we've seen them everywhere though, I thought it was new. My Chikorita, I could evolve, but I actually saw a bay leaf the other day, um, yesterday, and I wasn't able to catch it. It ran on me, so I'm not going to evolve it up just yet. I've also got a Pineco, which again is a brand new Pokemon for me. I think hatched out of a 10km egg, I want to say. Really rare. We need 50 of them to level him up. Maybe we'll get that today. You have no idea. Vulpix, we can evolve into a Ninetales. This is only the second Ninetales I have ever got in the game, so I was really excited to see uh, that I'm actually going to be able to get myself another Vulpix. Okay, the ring has popped up. 
Um, let's see it. Oh, Nine Tails, you are so beautiful. And apparently, also, um, the was it the shiny Pokemon are now out, or I think it's just Magikarp and Gyarados. So maybe today we'll hunt for a. Uh, shinies as well. Slugma, I've got a Slugma, got these here as well, so hopefully we can evolve Slugma up today. What new things, other new things have I got? I got a load of Iggly buffs. I got three out of eggs, which is crazy. Uh, my Croconaw is nearly 60 candies. Today, potentially, we could evolve him if we find uh, enough of those. Uh, and then Skiploom, we're again getting close. There's a few of the, the first tier of this around. Uh, then Sunken as well. I've actually got the Firestone to evolve it. We just need to find the candies for it. So we're going to go find the candies for that as well. And Gyarados now looks different. He looks like, kind of like a, a darker blue. Looks really sexy and really cool. So let's go hit the beach and maybe the town. I'm going to do like a montage thing for you guys so you can see the, all of Bali as well. It's kind of like a half vlog, half awesome montage. So let's go get some rare Pokemon and get some crazy new evolutions. <laughs> is actually Mario's uh, evolution. Now, I don't know the name of it because, again, Gen 2 Pokemon, I'm not exactly the hottest on all the names, but that's just around the corner, so we're going to check that out. But, I, I mean, look at this, guys. Look at how many Pokestops there are around here. Because of all the shrines and stuff, they're all Pokestops, so we've got so many Pokemon we can go catch. We're also super close to getting our Seedra evolved into Kingdra. You can see that I've got the uh, Dragon Scale that you need, and we've got 84 out of 100 candies. Because the water update or the water festival has just come out, I'm really hoping today is the day we get Seizure evolved into a Kingdra because I've seen nobody with that yet and it'd be absolutely crazy to have one of the first that I've ever seen put it on a gym and just troll everybody for a bit. Welcome then to Sano Beach. We have decided to come out to the beach this morning and have a look around, mainly because look how crazy this is. We've nearly, nearly got a quad lure set up and at the moment we've got this water festival. Um, so I'm hoping that we're going to get some horses because we're only about 10 candy away from evolving our Seedra up into a Kingdra because I've already got the Dragon Scale uh, and we also only need one more Squirtle to get another Blastoise. So we've got a Quad Lure going here but it's just a little bit too far spread. There's nothing super rare on the map so we're going to wander up past this gym and see if there's anything up here because apparently earlier there was like a flock of Mareeps up here. If we could get those that would be absolutely insane. Uh, and in terms of eggs hatching we do need to walk because I don't actually think I've got that many eggs. Oh what was that? Oh no, that was nothing. I don't think I've actually got too many eggs set up. Let's have a quick look, shall we? Uh, eggs, no. Oh, I've got one 5k that I can put on as well. I find out here that the eggs are actually really far and few between, which is kind of interesting. But when you get in a taxi, it's great because the roads are so slow, you actually don't go fast enough to uh, to stop hatching them. So let's wander up there and see if we can find anything rarer. Really rare Pokemon have just spawned up. This is a, a Slugma, I think. I haven't actually, um, oh, no, not Nidoran, seriously. If this runs on me, I will be so peed off. Go away, buddy. Let's see if we can click it. We get it. No, we don't. We got a Mantine, which I guess is pretty good. I've had quite a few of these from 10Ks already, and sadly they don't evolve, so they're kind of pointless, but it's quite nice to see them. But look at this view that we've got while we're catching Pokemon here in Bali. It is absolutely crazy. And by the way, it's like 32 degrees at the moment. It is so, so hot. So I've got sweaty hands and everything slippering around. But here we go. So we want to get this. Come on, click on it. Yes, there we go. Slugma. I haven't got one of these yet. So this is going to be my... Oh, you jumped, you cheeky little thing. It's going to be my first one, so let's see if we can catch this. Come on, buddy. Great start to the day if we can get a brand new Pokemon in. There, yes, there we go. Boom. So there we go. We've already started off 
with a new Pokemon, or at least I'm pretty sure it is. Oh no, apparently I have one. Oh, I've only, I've only got one, and you can evolve it. But, oh, there it is. There's the evolution. You can evolve it. So we need to get loads more of those. But we're currently still looking for that horsey. Let's go a little bit further up and see if we can find anything. Nothing crazy has come on the map yet either. Literally, we've walked like a minute up and we've just had a flood of Pokemon. Check this out. How crazy is this? We've even got a Corsola, I think it's called. Let's just see if I have selected it. My Wi-Fi out here is non-existent. I'm on 3G, but obviously being out in Bali on UK 3G is the slowest thing ever. So it's just taking forever. No! <laughs> no! Everything literally has just disappeared! What? I'm, I'm gonna have to go back up here and see if they spawn again. Corsola has spawned, and this is a new Pokemon for me. I've seen one of these before, but it ran on me. It was on my incense earlier. Let's see if we get it. Come on, buddy. Just say yes. There we go. It works out quite well that we're on the beach, actually, as we were able to get it. But there we go. New Pokemon, and we got it on our first throw. Does Corsola evolve? I can't actually remember. Uh, and I can't see it on there at all. No, it doesn't. So we've got that now. That's that ticked off the list. We've got a Ghastly for some reason. Uh, anything else rare? Not really anything else we need. We need actually one more of these Chin Chow things. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. So let's keep walking and see if we can find that. I don't know what a Ghastly is doing out here on the beach. That's just weird. We found another Totodile. And I think this is the last one we need before we can evolve it. So let's get, there we go. We've got a great throw on it. And there's also a Squirtle over here, which is the final one we need until we can evolve our water tool up into a Blastoise. So there we go. We've got a Totodile. Let's have a look at this. Because I haven't seen the second evolution. I've seen the third one. Oh no, we're so close. I might be able to sell this guy and another couple, but there's also a Squirtle there. So let's catch him and then we can evolve up our Blastoise later and get our second Blastoise because our first one was actually really, really weak. So hopefully this one uh, might be a little bit more powerful. Got him. hotel after a long day of hunting and again an egg has just happened to appear as soon as I sit down in the hotel. I don't know what it is. Obviously here for some reason we get stuff spawned. We got a Geodude. Don't really need it. That might be enough to evolve a Graveler. Uh, no it won't. Actually it's enough to evolve a Geodude. That works out pretty well. But we're going to put the Lucky Egg on because as you guys know we've got some really big evolutions to go. And don't forget in tomorrow's video it's a 7 day streak which means I get a new item. Hopefully we get either an upgrade or a King's Rock. I think they're the two that I need. An upgrade would be the best to get a Porygon 2.0 but I'm not sure. That is really, I think upgrade is like the hardest to get. Uh, anyway, so we've got this sorted. Let's go on here and have a look at what I got today to end the day with. Uh, you can see we've got ourselves uh, the Poliwhirl. Again, is ready hopefully for tomorrow that we need that King's Rock for, like I just mentioned. My Chikorita is doing pretty well. We got a few extra ones, but still there's no point because Bayleaf is coming soon. I got another Pinecone, so that's going well. Slugma is nearing evolution. Maybe tomorrow we can evolve him up. Uh, and now we've got Pikachu. Now this is Christmas Pikachu. I actually need to show you upgrading the new Pikachu with the new hat on to a Raichu and see what hat he has. Uh, but anyway, Croconaw, uh, we actually have enough to level this guy up. I know, this is a little bit crazy. Didn't expect to be upgrading him actually in this episode to be totally honest. But I found so many of him. Now I know this guy is really weak and I, I'm kind of annoyed about that. But I'd, I'm probably not going to use it much anyway. Oh my god, let's look at this beast! Oh, he is such a tank. He is literally such a tank. Add that to the Pokedex, baby. That's the first third tier evolution that I've got here. Only 500 CP. But I've battled uh, these guys a couple of times, I think. Maybe in a gym uh, on my friend's account. And he really wasn't that good. So it's kind of like Blastoise. They're, just, they're not actually that powerful. Sunken as well is so close. And we've got a Firestone. So tomorrow again, Sunken is here him. Oh, uh, hopefully Sunken tomorrow uh, should be good as well. But I swear we've got something else that we can upgrade. I just don't know where it is. We might as well just like scroll through all of the Pokemon I've got here. And oh, so for example, Lavatar today. Uh, uh, Lavatar did pretty well as well today. We were able to get 46 candies. So I could evolve him. But again, I, I want to wait and see if I can actually get that Gen 2. Uh, sorry, Gen 2. The second tier evolution just naturally in the wild. Because if I can, obviously that's going to save me a lot 
lot. My Magikarp catching has been pretty lit as well. We've got 300 uh, Magikarp candies if I sell all of those as well, which is crazy. Mareep is so close to being evolved. Like Mareep, I actually saw another Mareep today. Uh, I think I saw two today, uh, but one of them fled. And I was like, oh my God, I actually could have upgraded you and evolved you, but I wasn't able to in the end, which was a real shame. Uh, let's see if we've got anything out. I'm pretty sure there was like one more kind of crazy thing. I got another fan fee. Fan P. Uh, oh, we can do Pikachu while we're here. And I remember, I remember what the other thing was. Of course, it was that um, Togepi. Uh, we hatched Togepi. That was pretty damn awesome. But was that the final one, or is there maybe something else? There must, there must be something. Let's keep on going through the list. See what this Raichu looks like, though. Is it gonna have a new hat? No, it's got the same one, but it's pretty cool. We've now got Christmas Pikachu, Christmas Raichu, uh, and. Whatever these are called, I don't know, like celebration is 20 years, I think. Well, oh, I can actually sell one of these pine cones, but there's no uh, no point just yet. Poliwag, we said we're nearly ready to go. Yeah, this is Porygon. Porygon, I just need the upgrade. I've got the 50 candies, I just need the upgrade. Uh, Quillfish as well, we oh, can't do anything with him, but I caught quite a few of him uh, today. What else have we got here? There must be, oh, Skarmory. I was able to catch him today, uh, as you guys saw. That was really nice to actually catch him. Uh, I've seen a few people with him. Again, not far for, here he is. Okay, I found him. It is Skiploom. Skiploom is the one that I meant. A hundred candies, let's do this. I was so excited as well. When I got this, I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna be able to level up. It's gonna look so beautiful. Yes, you fly. This was surprisingly hard. I thought this was going to be one of the easiest Pokemon to level up. But this was uh, a surprisingly tough one. But look at that. Cottony. Is it, wait, is it Cottony? Maybe it's not called Cottony. I can't remember. We're about to find out though. Rachel the Pokedex nearly completed that whole row as well. Uh, no, Jump Fluff. Jump Fluff. I don't remember that Pokemon at all. Uh, and then everything else. My Slugma is nearing evolution, which yeah, again, hopefully we'll be able to get tomorrow. Uh, and is there anything else down here? I'm getting a few Tangellas out here, which is nice. There's my Togepi as well, which is always good to see. And I think that is it. So today, guys, has been a really, really good day for Pokemon. And today could be just as good. Potentially four new evolutions and a couple of the higher tier ones tomorrow. Uh, nothing around that I need to go get, so we're just going to chill out for the rest of the day. Tomorrow, see what we get out of that seven-day streak. Let me know down below, in the comment, uh, down, below, down below in the comments what you think I'm going to get. But until then, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Woo!